2017 Harley Davidson Road King Review and First Ride. The Road King has long been an alternative for Harley Davidson riders who want a tour capable bike sans barn door fairing. It keeps getting better in the 2017 model year with the new Milwaukee 8 engine and a special trim package called Wait For It The Road King Special. Updated looks and performance are the main selling points here, over and above the usual litany of reasons to consider the Road King, and the recent demise of Victory Motorcycles makes this ride even more important to HD in the long run. My husband is not a fan of the early Road Kings. He says they look like someone partially disassembled an FLT and marketed it as a net new bike. That and it was ugly, unfinished, and his absolute least favorite of Harley's offerings. Let me be clear, I like the Road King, but even if you agree with TJ, this is not that Road King. Gotta say I'm disappointed in the wheels on the base model King. Chrome laced wheels would be much more appropriate here, but the cast wheels fit the specials look perfectly. The same FL frame holds everything together for both bikes, but a difference in wheel size changes the overall length and steering geometry just a bit. Probably the most exciting news here lies with the all-new Milwaukee 8 engine that moves past the so yesterday twin chem mills into what is hopefully a new era in HD engineering. This 107 cubic inch, 1,753 cubic centimeters, Beast runs a typical under-square ratio with a 3.937 inch bore and 4.374 inch stroke one of the keys to generating its unstoppable torque. At a mere 3,250 rpm, the mill 8 pounds out a punishing 111.4 pound-feet of torque and delivers a decisive fifth gear roll-on for passing. For such a timeless, classic ride such as the Road King, there can be but one worthy adversary, the chief vintage from Indian motorcycles. In the looks department, both rides enjoy deep roots that go back half a century, and that clearly comes out in the design. Of course, Indian takes it a step further by imitating the look of the old flathead, side valve engines popular way back in the day, and that really adds some QWAN to the whole project, but both bikes look like they could have been ripped from the pages of a history book with little, brand specific details. I'm talking about the full skirt and Indian head fender treatment versus the classic Harley trim and skirt mainly though Indian adds a really nice touch with its tan leather seat and bags, which is a departure from the tiresome ubiquity of the black saddle favored by Harley. Whisker bar lights and full windshields finish off the look from the front and make the final connection to days long past. Pricing is close enough to suggest collusion with a $19,999 tag on the Chief, and a range of prices from $18,999 on up through $21,399 on the Road King, depending on color. Hate to say it guys, you're both a little bit too proud of your products. Thanks for watching.